Good evening. I'm Pastor Bob Ozel from the Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church, Corsica County, Texas. Today is Sunday, July the 26th, 2020. I hope everybody's had a good day. Things are uh, a little quiet now in our house in Corsica County, but it hasn't been that way all day because we had a number of family members that were here this afternoon to celebrate a very important event, the 67th birthday of my dear wife, Deborah. Here's a picture of Deborah and me that was taken a few years ago. There's one up here on the wall as well. Deborah Uzzle was born Deborah Diana Bass in Fairfield, Texas on July 26. 1953. She grew up in Fairfield and graduated from Fairfield High School in 1971. She had previously attended uh, the Dogan High School, which was the uh, African American school that existed before integration. By the time she graduated, the schools had been combined. Over the last several years, we've had wonderful times at the Dogan Clash reunions. Always enjoy events like that. Uh, she also graduated from Navarro College with a degree in nursing, became a licensed vocational nurse, and she uh, has taught, has, has worked at a number of different facilities over the years. I'm from Waco, and I'll never forget. December 2nd, 1974, when I got in my car in Waco and drove 54 miles to Teague, Texas. Teague is 10 miles from Fairfield. Fairfield is the county seat of Freestone County. And uh, I uh, had uh, gotten a job with the state of Texas, one of a number of positions I held like that over the years. I went to work for what was then called the Texas Department of Public Welfare. It's now called Health and Human Services. And I moved to Teague and had clients with the aged, blind, and disabled, uh, some in nursing homes and some who stayed at home through the help of individual providers who would come into the home to uh, provide assistance to the aged and disabled. And it was a job I really loved when I first went to Teague. I, the caseload was not in very good shape and I spent 50 to 60 hours a week uh, trying to get it in shape. Even though I was only paid for 40, it's a job I loved. I was very passionate about what I did. I've done a lot of things over the years that I've been passionate about and still am. But uh, when I moved to Teague, I had clients all over Freestone County. Teague, Fairfield, Wortham, Streetman, Butler, Plum Creek, Dew. There's a whole bunch of different communities out in that area. And um, not many roads in Freestone County I've not been down. One of the nursing homes where I worked uh, to provide social service assessments for the residents was the Fairview Manor Nursing Center in Fairfield. And Deborah Bass was working there. Uh, as it turned out, our first meetings were not that good. Uh, I was coming in at the wrong time. Uh, I was talking a lot. Uh, talking about stuff unrelated to the job. Um, I've always been known to do stuff like that. Thus keeping her from her work. So we knew who each other was. That was about it, though. Then, a couple of years later, she was in the hospital at Fairview Manor. I'm sorry, uh, Fairfield Memorial Hospital, as it was called then. And I, back in those days, before HIPAA laws, you could... Uh, um, put the patient's name and for contact information out 
right in a public place. You can't do that now. But uh, I had a client who was in the hospital, and when I had clients that went to see in the hospital, a lot of times I would visit someone else if there was anybody's name I saw on the roll. Well, I knew Deborah Bass, so I decided to go see her. And we ended up having several visits before it was all over. And then uh, eventually she was released from the hospital. She wanted to um, send me a card, but she didn't have my address. Finally, she got me on the phone to thank me for my visits. And it was a few days later, I called her back, asked her if she'd have dinner with me. And she agreed. That was on October 21st of 19. 76. We dined at uh, what was then called Winkler's Restaurant in Fairfield. It's now called Pawnee's Diner. On a number of occasions since then, on October 21st, we've gone there again to, to dine in celebration of the anniversary of our first date. We began seeing each other quite a bit after that and on Christmas Day, December 25th, 1976, I proposed marriage to her, and she accepted. On February 19th, 1977, we were married at the Fairfield Baptist Church by the Reverend W.M. Johnson. Deborah Bass became Deborah Uzzle and remained so 43 years later. She is a mother of four children, Erica Diane Bass, who was born June the 15th, 1970, Eric LeClaire Bass, born August the 7th, 1972, and Joanna Elaine Bass, born September 25th. 1974. And all three were raised by me. We lived three years in uh, first years of our marriage. We lived in Dallas where I was serving as pastor of the Emmanuel AME Church. In October 1979 I was uh, move the way the Methodist Church does by the bishop from Emmanuel Dallas to Macedonia AME Church Kaufman and it took us a while to find a place to live but eventually we uprooted and moved to Kaufman, Texas. While in Dallas she worked at Chester Clinic and when we moved to Kaufman she worked at Presbyterian Hospital. Shortly after moving to uh, Kaufman, Joanna, the youngest girl, was enrolled in kindergarten. And the, while visiting some of our members, uh, Deborah made the statement, I feel so good I got my last child in school. Well, she went to the doctor the next week and found out she was pregnant. <laughs> it was on June the 12th, 1981, that our youngest, Robert Elton Russell, was born at Presbyterian Hospital in Kaufman. Sadly, he passed away on November 24th, 2019. This is her first birthday since then, and we miss him very much. But we were at Kaufman for eight years in Macedonia, later returned to Waco, where she worked at Hillcrest Baptist Medical Center. I taught at Paul Quinn College, then in Waco, later in Dallas, and pursued Ph.D. studies at Baylor. It was Erica, the oldest girl, in 1988, graduated from Kaufman High, and then after attending Navarro College, 
McLennan Community College and Paul Quinn College. He enrolled at Baylor University. On May 13, 1995, there was a big day for our family. Erica received her BA, and I received my PhD in the same ceremony. We had, uh, it was in the following year, 1996, Deborah received a special award of alumnus by choice from the Baylor Alumni Association. Alumnus by choice is given to someone who has never been a student at Baylor, but has made contributions to the university. Putting a husband and a daughter through, I think those are pretty good contributions. She, uh, well, we end up eventually leaving Waco and we're in the Duncanville area for a while. I served for three years as pastor on the Blooming Grove May Pearl Circuit, later at Forest Hill AME Church in Fort Worth. In 2002, we were appointed to Wayman Chapel AME Church in Ennis. We served at Wayman Chapel 14 years. On November 19, 2016, we were transferred to Bethel AME Church in Corsicana. And God willing, we hope to remain at Bethel until 2026, which is my officially scheduled year for retirement. Our plans after that, God willing, is to return to Fairfield, making it full circle, and spend whatever years God has left for us in that area. Deborah has done some private duty nursing over the years. She cannot keep up with the schedule she formerly kept up with. She's been a wonderful pastor's wife at several different congregations down through the years. She's very much devoted to the children, grandchildren, and now great-grandchildren. She's also a member of the Zakat Court number 133, which is the auxiliary to the ancient Egyptian Arabic order nobles of the Mystic Shrine. And has been, even though she doesn't share all the same interests that I have, she's certainly been supportive of me, not only in my ministry, but various endeavors that I've carried out throughout the years. I thank God for giving me such a wonderful wife. I thank God for Deborah Uzzle. And again, uh, 67 years old. Honey, I love you. And I pray that you have many, many more. Have a good evening.